This is Brett from Paul Bear, and you're watching Bloodstock TV. Okay, next up on Bloodshot TV, we've got Bloodstock Dawn. How you doing, guys? Great, thanks. Yes. So everyone that's thinking that's a mistake, it's not a mistake, is it? Because you are Bloodstock Dawn. That, uh, was our, that was our hashtag campaign for it was. when we weren't playing. It was, exactly. Yeah. So uh, yeah, thanks, when we interviewed you, well, when we, well, the, the story behind that, people, is that when, when I did the interview with you guys back in February, I started off the interview, completely messed it up by interviewing you as Bloodstock Dawn. And then, <laughs> and then I thought, no, we'll stick with that and we'll go with that. And at the time, you hadn't been announced as playing, so I'm taking sole responsibility yeah, for you. Yeah, I mean, you honestly, getting we hadn't, at that point, we hadn't even been booked. So. Exactly. Yeah, so so it, all down to me. So all everyone that enjoyed the set last night, it's all my you, fault. So If you guys need a booking agent, this is the one <laughs> to ask. You know? yeah. I mean, he really helped us out. He came to the gig and he was like, yo, this, this this was a shit show. Like, you do not belong on Bloodstock. Yeah. No, I did watch the show last night. It was very, very good indeed. You must be happy with it, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it was incredible. The response was was brilliant. And, uh, you know, it's always great to play Bloodstock. You know, so yeah, because uh, you've, uh, you've, you're, you're one of the uh, poster boys for the Metal to the Masses campaign. Having, <laughs> I guess uh, literally. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, uh, we did Metal to the Masses in 2009. And, uh, you know, to to play, still be being invited back nine years later is uh, yeah. you know, a testament to you know the metal to the masses thing really yeah because I was saying you played the main stage as well haven't yeah, you yeah, a few yeah, years ago yeah we played the main well, stage so. in 2014 um, you know so you know we've gone we managed to play all the stages and yeah. like I said to even just to get to come back four years later you got, you got to do the busking in the campsite yeah yeah, yeah you got yeah. to do that bit as well you know, yeah. we, in 2007 I think I was playing in one of the portaloos and uh, you know <laughs> Kind yeah. of Simon found me in there, and yeah, he was Simon, like, Simon finds a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Simon finds a lot of people in Portaloos on site. So you'd be surprised. No comment. So no, we're gonna go. Definitely some. no um, comment. And I noticed no. you having a bit of a bit of an intimate situation with Simon last night, actually. Funnily enough, during your set. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what came over him, but he decided to uh, put my life at risk. Yes. Uh, I guess that's what happens with uh, playing with Bloodstock, you know. Yeah. And, he decided to grab my foot when it was on a monitor, but I think I wasn't meant to have my foot there, so he was kind of just laying down the law. You, you yeah. did taunt him a little bit, though, yeah, to yeah, be fair. I did. Yeah. I did tell so. the crowd to try and embarrass him. So. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I mean, I'm, I was very impressed because we were tied stage watching, and both Simon and, and Alan Hungerford, Vicky's husband, were in the pit helping out with the with the crew with all the all the all the. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Just... It was it was it was nuts. I mean, I don't I don't think they were expecting the onslaught of. Um, crowd surfers I mean we didn't either at some points you know during the set I was, should have really been focusing on the crowd but I just found myself looking at all these people flying yeah. over the barrier and yeah. no I mean you know testament to them guys working so hard you know so early on in the festival I mean yeah. I it, it was a good warm-up you know <laughs> well was. maybe it wasn't that good of a warm-up because they weren't ready there was like yeah yeah no there was a few that I saw that, that looked like a bit a bit of a crash landing yeah, here and yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, <laughs> like I said, it was holding my attention. Yeah. <laughs> but it, okay. was, it really was like the stars aligned for that gig, yeah, honestly. Yeah. It was like right before the gig started, just started to sprinkle a little bit. Yeah. People from outside were like, oh yeah. my God, it looks like a nice tent in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. on. Yeah, we really couldn't have asked for more. No, it was really good. So, so remind a little bit about when I saw you guys back in February and that lot, the album was just coming out, so you got the new album. Um, and then you were going off all over the place and that lot. So you went over to uh, your stamping ground, didn't you, over to Canada? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that was uh, yeah, incredible. first time over in North America. Yeah. So, so, so how did that go? Yeah, I mean, it was amazing. It was, uh, you know, obviously Canada is a, a massive country and uh, I didn't think, uh, well, he obviously knew because he's... You know, well, right. Mor yeah. well, well Morgan's it. got a big family, so fortunately you were able to, yeah. thousands and thousands of them get into every gig, <laughs> all reeds everywhere. They're just sort of like, yeah, yeah, that's my grandma's, my dad. I, yeah. I had a great, my that. great aunt came to one of the shows. Really? She loved it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> big it was, fan. It was, it was just amazing, you know, like, to, go, to go to a new continent and to ha have a good reception like that, you know. Yeah. It, was, it was like we'd been there before, you know. It, felt, it, didn't, it didn't feel... Like we were reaching to new fans. Yeah. You know, um, it must be good for you, Morgan, as well, oh, to be able amazing. to just say, hey, look, I've gone over here yeah, and I'm yeah. bringing my band back to see you all, you know? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, I also hadn't been back to Canada for like two years. Yeah. So I got to see some, some friends and like even my parents came to the Toronto show and that show was one of the best on the tour for sure. I mean, and I like I, I didn't really build up a community there of like metalhead friends or you know what I mean? Like cause yeah, I, yeah. I moved away pretty early on, but like 
I don't know, the reception was just so cool, like having a hometown show, and they're like chanting my name. I was just like, why? Yeah. But I don't know. What, I'm Canadian, I guess, so. Yeah, yeah. very patriotic people. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, one thing which was crazy was the drives, you know, between Ooh. between two shows we had like a 36 hour drive. Wowzers. So, you That's know. What I mean. so, so I do that in this country, you'd have to go up and down yeah, four like times. Yeah, four times, exactly. I mean, <laughs> for us, we had two days to get from uh, Guelph in Ontario to Winnipeg. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just another world, you know, driving, driving that long. We were driving through every night almost. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you know, we arrived like an hour before the show yeah. with two days travel, you know, so yeah. it's kind of like... To be fair though, the M5, I've spent probably about <laughs> nine, nine hours on that easy. Yeah, you know? that's, that's... I've seen you on Facebook, man. You're <laughs> always on the road, literally. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, that's the irony of it though in Canada. There isn't, there's like lots of road, but there isn't so many people. So, yeah. you know, you barely get into any traffic. I mean, we, we maybe hit traffic one time and it was like, a one minute traffic drive, yeah, so. yeah. but yeah, I mean, with traffic, that country would be impossible. You wouldn't be yeah, able to yeah. make it to the show. We yeah, did exactly. do like almost 10K in the vans, yeah, maybe wow. even more. Maybe it was like 11 or something. So. That's crazy, man. But uh, but the shows were great there, really. The reception was so cool. Yeah, so. cool. So you've done Canadian tours, you've done you've, you've done Japan, you've done everywhere and that sort of thing. Festivals all around the world now. Lot. So which did you just say is the, sort of the best one? And why is it Bloodstock? <laughs> Honestly, I don't even have to fake an answer because <laughs> that show yesterday, like the crowd was just insane, and it was just—it's also like a hometown show for the band, so yeah. it's something similar. Yeah, yeah, agreed. I mean, like how fast and stuff was great, but we were playing to uh, you know a, a new crowd, I guess. Um, coming back to Bloodstock, though, you know, we got a lot of people that have seen us before at Bloodstock and might have seen us on tour and stuff. So you know, really here, all our UK fans seem to converse and. That makes for a really good show every time, you know. It's unbeatable when the crowd are like they were yesterday, you know. You, you don't, it's not, for a band at our level, it's not something you experience, you know, even maybe once a year. So. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, we did get Walls of Death in Japan, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. we managed that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Canada was insane, too. Like, we had some I guess it's just crazy more, shows. I guess it's more the volume, you know, yeah, the yeah, volume yeah, yeah. of people. And yeah. For everyone to be on the, on the same page with us like that, it's really like, this just feels really good. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Well, you're here for the rest of the weekend. I know James has gone off to Spain, has he now, with Vader? Or yeah, think, uh... he's, a, he's a busy boy, so especially this time of year. So he literally had to uh, drive home and pretty much get in the car and get a plane at 6 a.m. to play a festival today. So yeah. he's probably playing in a few hours from now, you know. Yeah. So. But, um, you know, we, we share the drama with Vader. It, it's hard sometimes, but, you know, it's worth it because we have a really good... Um, cohesive thing with James when we play yeah. and, you know we don't we don't mind we have standing guys that are willing to play but it's always like it's always great to have him because he has a certain energy about yeah, his yeah, he's an absolute beast I was yeah. especially on, on the new songs as well right like he recorded those tracks he he had a big part in like what's going on drum wise yeah. in those tracks and when we play them it's just it feels really good like just he's assaulting like just yeah. my eardrum essentially because I'm too close to him even on a huge stage like that he's just bashing in the snare yeah and uh, I don't know it's, it was great to play with him yeah. for sure we haven't really discussed the music much we'll rattle through it very quickly I remember referring to it as lots of widdly diddlies oh, yeah. remember that the widdly yeah, diddlies because I, I am of a musical persuasion as in not at all uh, which I mean why I, I do this. I'm more of a whittler and he's more of a did like you're more of a diddler I think yeah I, I guess I don't know that sounds dodgy that sounds something else that sounds like something completely no. different he was cleared <laughs> of all charges on that that, that didn't <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't stick. Okay, sorry, oh, no, I didn't mean no, to no, accuse no. you of diddling. <laughs> no, that's all good. So, cool. So you're here for the rest of the weekend. Uh, any other bands that you're looking forward to seeing? And it's all Judas Priest for me tonight. I've never seen them, so yeah. it's I love that band. It's just, just can't wait to see Rob Halford and all yeah, his glory. Yeah. You know, it's going to be surreal. Yeah. Um, it's going to be amazing. Mr. Big as well for Mr. me. Big. Yeah. 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 I love cool. a bit of Paul Gilbert and Billy Sheehan, so. Excellent, cool. I, I used to bow down to Paul. Well, you, you can not, do not, not you, I'm sorry, but well, another Paul. You can if you want. You another know. one. <laughs> Get us on Bloodstock next year, I will bow to you, I swear. <laughs> I, 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 just, I, I, just I can't swing any of it. I don't know. No, 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 maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh yeah, but don't, man. We got Widdly Diddly's coming. Cool, yeah, excellent. We, we've new Widdly Diddly's on the way. New, new stuff so on the way. Know. Cool, excellent, that's good to hear. Cool, well, shall we cheers for chatting to us guys. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so that was Bloodstock Dawn on Bloodshot TV. Thank you. Thank you guys.